Hey there, Avamax Tires, and welcome back to Tying Tuesday. Brady here with you once more. We're going to tie this UV Veil egg. Kind of a take on the Nuke egg, which is a McFlylon pattern. And this one is just built on the Loon UV fly finish, the colored fly finish. So we'll throw our hook in the vise. This is a cool egg hook from Daiichi, pretty unique hook. The 50, sorry, 4250 hook. Doing a size four today. It's a nice salmon hook, which will work well for all your different egg imitations. Comes from the conventional world and crossed over into our fly tying world here. So first thing I like to do with this is just lay a little bit of UTC 70 denier in red. You could do 140 as well or any other red thread. I just build a little bit of a base and that'll help. So when you start to lay down the UV finish, if you have a little bit that's not properly diluted, maybe it's just a little bit thin and clear, uh, you just kind of get this red pop underneath it. So sometimes you don't see it if you got a nice orange UV finish over top, but I just have always done it underneath for when you can see it. So we'll throw that down and whip finish also gives you a base to lay your UV. So that'll be the next thing, the, the Loon Hot Orange is the main color I do on this. You could do a red or the regular orange. Could even get away with a hot green color on this in certain tailwaters and fisheries around. Uh, but the hot orange has been the mainstay for me, definitely the one that's worked the best. I've had a lot of fish take this during rainbow spawn, a lot of browns following up that'll take this fly. So gotta shake it up real good. That color tends to kind of drift to the bottom of these finishes. And so you want to make sure that you got a nice and blended. And then we're just going to build slowly. So the main thing for the durability of this fly is you do a little bit at a time. So we'll throw some on, kind of keep it rotating to keep a nice round profile, and then hit it with some UV. And we're just going to build on it one layer at a time. And you definitely want a rotary vise for this guy. Helps keep that round shape as you go. Not that it has to be perfect. Eggs are soft and squishy, so they're not always round. I'm just building up to, you know, like a four or six mil overall. Something that you can play with and match, not the hatch, but the eggs that might be in your water system. Once you're happy with the size, that's probably about big enough. You can go a little bit bigger than that, but we'll throw that veil on here now. So this is the hairline egg veil in the milky white. We need to get our thread started first. So just a white thread to match. This is a Vivis 16 knot. I'm gonna start it right in front of the egg. So be sure when you're building that to leave yourself a little bit of room for your thread and the veil. 
And we'll pull a little bit out, don't need too much of this, you just want it to be that nice, thin layering over top, it lays down when it gets wet. And then I cart it together and just sort of break it down. And stack it up nicely so you got fibers all going in the same direction. So we're going to take that and lay it right on top, kind of right at the halfway point. Just want to make sure it's going past the egg and some of those strands are going all the way past that hook bend. Take it and lay it right on the top there. Capture it with our thread with a couple of wraps and then I'll sort of push it with my thumb down and around the egg. And then we're going to take the other half and split it around the hook eye and pull it right underneath. So we'll go through our thread as well. Cure it all the way. Pulling it up and under here, and then we can throw our thread up and around it, sort of walk back over top, and kind of check it out all around, and then you're going to whip finish over. Takes a little time to build them out. Make sure you cure them. This one I didn't cure all the way before I got that egg veil on there, but just hoping it stick down to the egg anyways. Kind of a dirty little messy fly. That'll put a lot of fish in your net. Give it a shot.